Come on, let's grow, grow, do it, so we can share it round with all our friends. G'day, Kim Chi McGee here. Now, if you've ever wanted to increase the nutritional value of your dodgy supermarket bought produce, then you've got to make it get a bit funky. I reckon the best way to do it is to turn it into... Kimchi is good for me. Yeah, it's the best stuff that I eat, I guarantee. So all you do is you get a daikon radish, or failing that, any old radish, and a Wong Bok cabbage. Finely done. Daikon radish with a cabbage, finely done. And for a bit of fun, you can chop in some carrots. Then you chop a little chilli with the garlic and the ginger to crank it up with spice. Lovely. Then add a bit of good salt, just until it tastes salty. And I like to add a bit of fish sauce. And if you like it extra spicy, you can just crank it up a little with some chilli sauce. Now you want to give it a massage because it's doing two things. It's smashing the kimchi ingredients together, but it's also inoculating them with beneficial microorganisms. Now when it starts to get a little bit juicy, we get a recycled jar and we stuff it. Well, let's stuff it, stuff it, stuff it, stuff it, stuff it inside a jar. Yeah, let's stuff it, stuff it, stuff it. Then you just leave it on the bench for about a week until it starts getting nice and bubbly. And if you want to know when it's ready, all you have to do is open the lid and have a whiff. So that's how I like to make kimchi, but you should give it a go yourself and let us know how you go. And in the meantime, go have a boogie to the kimchi music video. Bye. Kimchi is that flavour that I seek.